because this is something that I'm asked a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And again, I feel like I talk about this a lot. So if you're like, Lauren, you talked about this already. Shh. There are new people. Sit down. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren Kidd. I am a business strategist for the Busy Mompreneur. I teach moms how to start, run, and scale their online businesses so they can be present in their kids' lives. If you are a new person to my channel, I'm excited to have you here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and click that bell so that you get notifications when new content is out. New content comes out every Monday at nine, but go ahead. I'll send you a reminder. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I love that you're here. Go ahead and tell me, hey, below so I can say hey back. I love having you guys here. All right. Today, we're going to talk about five ways to grow your email list. This is something that I feel like I talk about a lot, especially in Mommy's on a Mission, right there. Go ahead and come join us. I'll put that link below. Um, it is our Facebook group. It is a bunch of mompreneurs, 15,000, 16,000 mompreneurs who are growing and sharing their businesses. I give tips, tricks, and the life hacks that you need in order to be a successful mompreneur in there on top of well, everything that I give you guys here. But Today, we're going to talk about how to grow your email list because this is something that I'm asked a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And again, I feel like I talk about this a lot. So if you're like, Lauren, you talked about this already. Shh, there are new people. Sit down. <laughs> All right. So when it comes to getting people on your email list, what you really need to make sure that you do is that you have something to offer them. Once you have something to offer them, you're going to want to create urgency for that thing. So if I'm sharing something that I want you to sign up for, that's free. I want you to, I want you to know that it's either brand new or it's hot off the presses or get it now before I make it paid. There are a lot of things that I put together for free, free trainings, free videos, things like that, that I do offer for free at first. And then I do turn around and charge for. So creating that sense of urgency is going to get people really excited. And they're going to be like, okay, I don't want to miss this. I'm going to go sign up right now. So they're going to join your email list because there is a sense of urgency. Number two, make sure that your freebie is packed with info. Okay. Everybody and their brother is making freebies. Now three steps, how to do this five steps, how to do this. You want to stand out, right? Give them 20 steps, give them 50 steps, give them a hundred steps. I know it feels like you're giving away the milk for free without them buying the cow, but that's not the case. Here's why doesn't matter if you give it away for free. You can turn around and charge for the explanation of what you're giving them for free. Guys, I'm, I tell this to my clients all the time. You could 100% go through every single one of my YouTubes, every single one of my lives in Mommy's on a Mission, every single one of my resources, and you could put together how to build a business as a mompreneur for free, 100%. What you pay for in a coach is somebody to walk you through exactly what you should do and in what order you should do it and then encourage you along the way, right? It's exactly what they're going to pay you for. If you're a fitness person, they're going to pay for that support. I have, cl I have clients who have personal training clients who are personal trainers themselves. I am a personal, I'm a certified personal trainer and I pay for training because I need the accountability. Nine times out of 10, that's what people are paying for is that accountability. I go to a therapist because I like to have somebody to talk to. It's alleviating for all sorts of things. It's very good for your mental health. We do not stigmatize it here. It is something that is very good. You go to a dentist, get your teeth checked. You go to a therapist, have your head checked, right? Um, you're going for that accountability. So make sure that your freebie stands out. Something that is jam-packed with information. Number three. Don't drop your links directly in the comments below. So I know if you're like, hey, brand new, hot off the presses, do you want this? And your first intention is to be like, click the link in the description below. Don't do that. What's going to happen, especially on Facebook, is that Facebook is going to ban your post and not ban it in the sense they're going to remove it. They're just going to shadow ban you. And they're going to be like, <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, what they want is people to respond. They want people to get excited on their own without having to go and just click a link, right? So a big thing to do is to be like, hey, drop an emoji below if you want this information. Drop a hands up, drop a heck yeah, drop a I want it below and I'll send it to you. Two ways you can send it to them. You can then, once there is interest, you can drop the link below and say, hey, here's the link. I'll talk about something else. Or you can say, hey, check your DMs. They sent it to you. Now, two things. Um, that I like to do 
the next your fourth tip is I like to say comment done when you've signed up or let me know what you think because it's going to create that continued engagement and it's going to continue to boost my post to the top of wherever I have shared it whether it's in my group or somebody else's group every time somebody comments it bounces it back up to the top so I like to continue that engagement because like more it bounces up the more Facebook's like okay sure absolutely this is of interest to people so here we are again right so comment done that way I know that they signed up I'm going to get that sense of yes somebody else is on my email list right or it's going to bounce my post up so that somebody else who maybe didn't see it can see it again. Or I'm like, hey, tell me what you think. I love this one because I get feedback on my freebies. If they're like, hey, this was like insane amounts of information. I'm like, okay, I'm on target. If they're like, you know, I was really looking for blah, 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 which I haven't had that in a very long time, but it was really good when I used to, because it told me what was missing right? What was I missing when I delivered this? Um, So asking them is going to give you feedback, but it's also going to continue to boost your post. So far, we've got create a sense of urgency, make sure that your freebie is jam packed so that you stand out among others and don't just drop your links, right? Don't just drop your links, let them comment below or put an emoji below or drop a picture below or whatever it is. And then four, have them comment something, whether they liked it, what they thought, comment done when they signed up so that they can continue to help you boost your post. Something that also might be of a necessity down the road for you. I know that for me, um, I have to be very careful with how many times I reply. I, we can, my team and I can only reply to 25 people at a time before Facebook blocks you. And I think it's now two hours. I have to wait every two hours before I reply for more than 25 posts because Facebook's like, you're spamming. So we now have to send timer. It used to be like 10 minutes and then it was like 30 minutes and it was an hour. Maybe this isn't an issue right now, but this could be an issue down the road for you. So something to consider um, only doing 25 replies at a time something to keep in mind. My fifth tip for you, and this is something that I talk about a lot. You have to post consistently about your offers, right? About your freebies. If you want to grow your lead mag, or if you want to grow your email list, you've got to continually put your freebies out there. Hey, I just created this um, top 10 ways to make more sales in your business. I actually have that below. If you want that sign up, I'll give it to you. It's entirely free. It's top 10 ways to make more sales in your business. Or if you're looking to create content quickly, I've got a content calendar. If you're looking for ways to grow your Facebook group, I got you. It's down there, right? All of these are something that I only offer every once in a while. So these are things that you want to get when you get it, right? Creating that sense of urgency. Truly, these are only things that I open up. I love to open and close my freebies. I do not keep my all my freebies open at the same time. You cannot subscribe to them all at the same time. So these are a couple of ones that I am putting out there right now. So if you wanted them, you could grab them. But posting them consistently, whether they are in groups, whether they're on your YouTube channel, whether they're on your blog, wherever you put them, make sure that you are posting consistently each and every month. You cannot simply put it out there one time and then hope that people will go and find them and subscribe. It's not a consistent plan to grow in your email list. So five ways to make that happen. Create a sense of urgency. Make sure that your freebies are jam packed with information so that you stand out among everybody else. Don't simply drop your links below. Make sure you have somebody commenting so that you can then reply. Comment done or tell me that you liked it or tell me what you thought so that you can continue to boost your your post to the top. And then number five, consistently posting every single month. Now, I know that there are some of you who are like, I don't even have a freebie. What's an email list? Help. I got you. I got you, mama. I know summer's coming. I know that your life is about to get insane. Kids are going to be home for the summer. You've got vacations coming up. You've got plans. You're like, oh my God, I got to figure this out too. I got you. It's fine. In the Business Builders Bundle, I teach you exactly how to set up a solid foundation for your business. Yes, the Mommy's on a Mission Business Builders Bundle. Right there right there. And I'm going to teach you how to create an email list. I'm going to teach you how to create a freebie that your ideal clients actually want to sign up for, how to set it up, how to set it so that you can forget it, how to post consistently about it, how to share it in a way that doesn't sound spammy. You're just like, oh my God, I have to have this right now, right? No, 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 no. You want to, you want people interested, right? So I'm going to teach you how to do that. I'm also 
also because summer is coming up and I really do want you to succeed in every aspect of every part of your business. I'm also going to give you access to my content as Cash Academy inside the Business Builders Bundle so that you know exactly how to write content that attracts your ideal clients, makes them wanting more, right? So you're going to get that on top of it. And because it's summer and I do want you to spend a whole bunch of time with your kids, because let's be real, that's what summer is about. Having fun, water balloon fights, going to the beach, maybe Disney, going to the mountains, whatever it is that you prefer, or gardening. I just want to spend one whole summer gardening. I don't know why. I just feel like I want to. Um, I'm going to give you $400 off with the promo code SUMMER. So at checkout, put SUMMER into the promo code section. You're going to get $400 off. I want to see you succeed. I want to see your email list explode. I want to help you turn that into sales. Yes, your freebies can make money. Yes, they can. And I'm going to show you how in the business folders bundle. So go ahead and check out that. And I will see you guys right back here next Monday. I'm so excited that you're going to grow your email list. Ah, it's going to lead to so many things for you. So I will see you guys right back here next Monday. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. Bye.